You know, I've talked a lot about Rune Factory and Pokemon, but I haven't talked about any of the other games I enjoy playing. So this week I decided to change things up just a little bit. I'm going to be doing a top 5 of my favorite strategy games. Starting off with... Number 5. In case it wasn't obvious, I like Pokemon games. I have ever since I was born. But I also like strategy games. But for some reason, mixing Pokemon and strategy games just doesn't sound like a good idea to me. So when I heard that they were coming out with a Pokemon strategy game, I was a little skeptical. I thought it was going to suck. But boy was I wrong. Surprisingly, this is a well put together strategy game with some interesting story elements and great gameplay. One of my favorite things about the game is that its style is based off of feudal Japan, because I always thought that the samurais were cool ever since I watched Rony Kenshin when I was younger. However, one of the things that intrigued me about the game was that even though the game looks like it's supposed to be in an older period than the normal Pokemon games, it actually takes place in the same timeline that the other Pokemon games take place, which I thought was really interesting. Especially because since there are no Pokeballs in that region, they have to bond with the Pokemon using linking. You hear that, Ash? You ain't got nothing on these people. Number 4. Kid with weird hair? Check. Shameless franchise placement? Check. Getting asked what your name is and not taking it seriously? Oh, I can't beat a new kid forever, huh? I wonder what I should name my character. Yeah, that'll work. Well, this is definitely a Final Fantasy game. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Ever since I got Final Fantasy VII for my birthday, I've really been into the Final Fantasy series, with some minor exceptions. <coughs> Final Fantasy XIII. <coughs> but when my brother got Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for the Game Boy Advance, I decided to try it out, even though it wasn't a turn-based RPG like the other Final Fantasy games. And I am so glad I did. The gameplay is great and can be really challenging at times since you are limited to what you can do if certain laws are in play. I especially like that this game has a clan system, which allows you to wage war with other clans or do jobs that people send you in the pub. Oh, you want me to name our clan? Hmm, what would be a good name? <laughs> I should really stop naming things. Number three. This was the game that got me into strategy games. I must have replayed this game 12 times at least carefully playing through each stage, trying to keep all of my teammates alive, and, oh, did I forget to mention that if someone dies in Fire Emblem, they stay dead? Some might find that annoying, but I like challenges, and this game is full of them. I have to say that one of my favorite things about the game is how the characters interact with each other, and sometimes you. My name's not weird, you take that back! Speaking of names, when I was little, I always thought that some of the names were really cool, like Lindis, or Ken, or... Zane? Okay, maybe not that one, but whoa, did you see that? I guess you could say that crit was insane. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Number two. Yeah, I bet most of you saw this coming, considering the fact that Civ 5 is a popular strategy game, and there's a good reason for that. It's freaking awesome. This game is both fun and challenging, but it doesn't require you to destroy your enemies to win. I once won a match doing nothing but building up my faith and making my religion the world religion, which gives you an insane bonus to tourism. However, even though fighting isn't required to win, it's still fun to do. Except for when someone drops a new gunny. I still have nightmares about Gandhi. Number one. Dragons. Magic. Fights to the death. Horrible enemy names. Seriously, was this a joke or did some guy get lazy? And bad words at a Nintendo game? Hey, you watch your mouth, Dio. Nintendo is a family-friendly company. We don't need your potty mouth ruining its reputation because, quite frankly, they're still trying to recover from what Paper Mario Sticker started to do it. I first played this game when I was 10 and loved it. So much so that I've replayed it about seven times and plan to play it again soon. The story is awesome and very dark. Uh, very, very dark. Not only that, but the story can actually change a little depending on the decisions you make. 
My conscience says no, but my psychopathic side says yes. But if you don't care about the story, the gameplay more than makes up for it. It's your job in this game to make the best military unit you can to defeat your enemies. That means giving your troops combat experience to power them up, or giving them trophies will do the same thing because reasons. Or you can go into the wilderness and enslave the animals to fight your enemies for you. Don't tell PETA. And that was my top 5 favorite strategy games. If your favorite strategy game didn't make it on the list, tell me what it was in the comments below and one of your fondest memories with it. And as always, until next time, see you later. Hey, did you like the video? If you have a suggestion for a video or another top 5 you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. And if you like what I do and want to see more of me, like and subscribe. And starting next week, I'll be uploading two videos a week, both on Thursday and Saturday. So I guess I'll see you then.